stop it. And then I'm going to come here and maybe I bite. Ah! I drag it down and I throw knees into the, into the hand or whatever. I come, maybe I get like an opportune Krav Maga style thing, fingertip to fingertip grip. I wrestle it away. And uh, it's all just concept. We got to continuously train and train and train and spar and spar and spar in order to think that we have any chance against someone with a knife in the street. All right, so we're going to work a little bit of knife stuff. This is the stuff that I've found over the years that's pretty effective. What we like to do is um, I'm going to stab at him. Now, obviously, guys on the street don't do this a whole lot, but it's good to drill just to get these things down, right? Like you, you want to practice the techniques. Uh, Miyamoto Masashi, I think it was Miyamoto Masashi, Book of the Five Rings, he said, out of one thing, no 10,000 things. Right, so that's why we like to drill. We do here, and then if you know how to stop the elbow here, you can come with the side attack. You can come with a, a lots of multiple prison style attacks, but it all starts from one thing. So that's why we start here. We like to start and we go here, and he's stopping the crook of the elbow here, and he's stopping the wrist here. So I can't go into him, and I also then can't go back because, hold on a second, what do we always like really worry about in the real streets, in the real world, right? It's this. It's this. So we want to stop him from not only coming and going forward, but also retracting. And so that's what this is good for. Now, after this, he's stopping me from coming back. He's going to deliver some violence onto me. Boom. Then he hooks the tricep here. So I cannot retract. Now he's going to deliver a little more violence. Boom. And then he can take me down, which is dragging the arm straight down. Arm drag straight down. Wah. And so that's, that's the basic, basic technique that I like to drill a whole lot. Oh, sorry. We never hand the knife to each other. We always do it like that. So we come here, we stop the elbow, right? Come here, we stop the wrist, stop the elbow. We deliver a little bit of violence. Now, maybe that looks like stepping on the outside, okay, and coming in here. Maybe it looks like stepping on the inside and coming in here. Now, you might be thinking, what about this hand, Will? He's going to hit you with his hand. Oh, he's going to hit me. He's going to get us to fight. We're going to get hit, right? But I'm moving in close to him so that when he does hit me, right, my head's now on the same uh, parallel with his head. So we'd have to hit his head to hit my, like he's going to get violent. He's going to headbutt. He's going to throw whatever, right? But this is a quick attack. It's quick defense rather. And it's a fucking street fight. Like we're both going to get hit. I don't want to get cut. I don't want to get stabbed any more than I already am going to, right? So he comes in at me. I block it and I block it. I deliver something here, right? Now I'm here. Okay, Will, he's got the knife. He's going to stab you. Yes, yes. Okay, but I'm coming here, and I'm going to press down on him here, and I'm going to assume that I'm getting hurt, cut, right? But it's I want to live. It's all that I'm focused on is, go ahead, one, all right, and I stop it up here. Maybe I just stop it with my thumb. Maybe I stop it with here, but eventually I want to get behind him, right? Now, I'm on this side of him. I can drag his arm. I can drag it down, whatever. Practice some wrestling, take some wrestling lessons, whatever. But again, maybe I come on the inside and I come here. But again, sorry, Kyle, let me move you. I'm still, I'm getting the tricep here and I've got this here. Now, I'm safer, believe it or not, according to my research, if I pin this to me, right? Like if it's here, what is he? He'd start stabbing, stabbing, stabbing. But if I'm pinning it here, yeah, he can, he's definitely going to try to stab me back here in the liver or whatever, but at least it's not a thrusting stab it's like a shallow right i'm just gonna keep throwing knees at him and throwing head butts and whatever until i can drag him down and hopefully wrestle the knife away from him so let's uh switch it up i'll pick the knife up and then kyle goes back and we do this drill boom he stops it boom he delivers a strike he's pinning the tricep and then whoa tap tap perfect and so that's what we like to do and it's all about after you learn the basic stop the elbow, pin the tricep, deliver the strike. Then it's all just about the basic mechanics of how do you most effectively wrestle him down and uh, mitigate the knife, right? So again, and Kyle, show us some kind of some kind of wrestling move here with an arm drag or something. And boom, right? Or if that wasn't working, maybe he comes a little, you know, and does something else and tap, tap, and whatever. And then he, he gets... This is where you need to just like wrestle a bit and do some uh, whatever, whatever your grappling art of choice is. But that, that's kind of what comes into that. But this 
stopping the knife is like so important. Um, whoo, and he stops it, and then he delivers a strike. Boom, boom, and then he does something. Right? Ah, yeah, yeah. Kimura, key lock, wrist lock, whatever his guilty pleasure is, he's gonna do that. Um, so these are all concepts, guys. You know, like I don't have the answer for you. I always say we're offering you options, not armor. Right? So options, not armor. That's a catchphrase from me. I made that up. Don't steal it. Don't do it. If you do, I'll find you, um, and I'll be angry at you. But these are options. All this stuff that I put on here on YouTube, it's train it if you like it. Reject what is useful. Add what is uniquely your own, but definitely absorb what is useful. So again, Kyle, boom. He stops the elbow. That's the most important fucking part. Like, I can't retract, and I can't go in. So I'm forced to like wrestle with him here. I'm gonna try to grab the knife and do something that he's gonna wrestle me back. Like, oh, won't. Well, and he and he comes here and he headbutts and he whatever. Boom! And he wrestles me down and arm drag whatever the case may be. So and then I'm gonna actually on this one take the knife and then we'll I'll let me uh, get a rep in. Boom. Ah. Uh, 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 uh. And then take the knife, take the knife. Yeah, there you go. All right, now I'm going to come and you know, stop it. And then I'm going to come here and maybe I bite. Ah! I drag it down and I throw knees into the, into the hand or whatever. I come, maybe I get like an opportune Krav Maga style thing, fingertip to fingertip grip. I wrestle it away. And uh, it's all just concept. We got to continuously train and train and train and spar and spar and spar. In order to think that we have any chance against someone with a knife in the street because like as i was you all know like kyle tried to take the knife away right like and i'm gonna cut him and i'm gonna he's gonna get cut and then eventually he grabs it and then maybe he's a good wrestler maybe i'm a wrestler too and we come here and it turns into this and i get a, i get a grip and then he gets ah and we're getting cut and then eventually take the knife somehow right uh, boom fingertip to fingertip and then that's, I mean, that's not, that's not like, I thought had 100% what a street fight looks like, but it's pretty, like, as safely as we can train, that's like how we need to train, is just go, go at it, go hard, and take all of the concepts and those little things and those little techniques that you learn from each video you watch or each craft class that you go to or whatever, and put them in your arsenal, because sometimes one will work and another won't, and you just have to, really, the fight IQ comes when you can transition from that's not working. Let me move into this. Let me take this. But all the basic principles apply. So that's my philosophy on knife defense. I'm not an expert. I've done a lot of knife sparring. I've never had to actually take a knife from anyone on the street. I'm not going to lie to you guys and like make more of myself than I am. Um, my experience with knives on the street is very uh, shallow. <laughs> it's more like I've seen a knife produced and I run away. Or I've seen a knife produced and I've like... <laughs> gone behind a car like it's it's not anything that impressive but i've done a lot of knife sparring and so i know kind of like what concepts are reality and what concepts come at me with a some type of a knife stab right like i know that this and we break it over our shoulder like it doesn't work i know that like uh come at me with something and i'm gonna come here and like do this i know this aikido bullshit like with a knife it doesn't work but i do know that this has a higher chance of doing nothing um than working i also know that i also know that you know stab at me right like this works the best <laughs> so kind of a, a joke but also not to so carry your fucking firearms if you're able to um any any comments on this no. all right Save yourself. Run, away. run the fuck away there's no there's no shame in doing that like remember one of my friends was actually in the Hells Angels and he said that he got surrounded by a rival gang. I don't think I'll leave the name of the gang out, but like another gang that like didn't like his Hells Angels, they came one night and they fucking surrounded him. And he said all he had on him was like, I don't know, a screwdriver, a hammer or something like that. And he's like a bunch of them and he, he looked at them and he was like, fuck you and he left. And they actually respected him more for doing that after because like they all knew it was a losing battle for him, right? So like, there's a time to fight and time to bravely run away. So well said. All right, guys. Um, go to fightingsecrets.com is the website if you want to get some cool concepts from us um, that really do tend to work. 
Um, and if you have any questions, comments, concerns, plop them in the comments below. I appreciate each and every single one of you who comments and subscribes and shares and gives us the thumbs up, drives us up in the algorithm. You are your first and last line of defense. Catch you next time, Mother Flowers.